project today is abstract tree shadow painting. This project is a two part project. So the first part, you need a nice piece of white paper or a couple of them. And they could be small. I just happen to have a big one. And you'll need a Sharpie or a permanent marker. And you will need something hard to write on. It's, it's, um, keeps you from poking through the paper. Okay, so that's the first part. And we will be going outside to do the first part. Okay, so now we're outside. And I want you to find a place where you can see um, nice shadows when you lay down your white paper. Uh, I've chosen this area where there are quite a few branches. Um, the only problem is the wind was blowing quite a bit. But that's okay. I was kind of catching, you know, what I needed and was inspired by what would show up on the paper. Also, I love the sounds of the birds around me. And um, it's just nice to be outside and taking in the, the outdoors. So with this, you can do several versions because um, you may want to do more than one painting and you might as well get them done at once. So I did three, but I'm just showing you an example of one right here. Okay, I'm happy with what I found out outside here, and now it's time to go back in. So now that we have been outside and done our drawings, this is what one of them looks like. Here's another, and here's another. The shadow tracings. So really what they are is fairly abstract and ambiguous but we can do a lot of fun things with them. We can um, doodle in there and add some lines, but mostly we're going to add color. So I'm, I'm looking at which one I really like most. And I kind of think, I think I will do this one. And so for this part, you're gonna need a water container palette for mixing or just putting your paint on, a nice regular medium brush, a rag, and I have a set of Blick Tempera Paints. Now you could use acrylics very easily and if you really don't have either one of these you can certainly use watercolors. So um, before I get too far along though I am going to also suggest that you have uh, ultra fine Sharpie. Just, it's just gonna be um, kind of fun. I think this one's dried out too. This one looks new. So in case I want to add a little dimension to my art here that this, and start make it, making it mine and more interesting, um, and I see there are some lines that didn't connect and we really want our lines to connect. So I'm gonna just pull this over like that. And then I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna go, I think what I'm gonna do is trace around inside here, go around again, go around again, and there. Maybe I'll do that. Um, maybe this one has dots. And I'm just picking some of these small pockets to do this. Uh, here's another place I see that I didn't know what to do with. So, you know, when the wind is blowing, it's kind of hard to get all your lines where you want them. And look at this one. This is, this is like a heart right here. So that'll be fun. Maybe, maybe I will start with that one because I saw that. So I'm gonna take a red. 
And remember, if you have just primary colors, you can make all the colors you need. So I'm gonna do, I think this is an old white. And I think I was supposed to get a new white. So I'm going to make a little pink. Now I'm not gonna mix all that up because I may want to save it and just do a red or a white or use the white for something else. So I'm going to go ahead and paint within these lines. And the goal is to paint everything, to use these as guidelines, but to also just not have any white space at the end. This is a nice activity because it's it's so nice to get outside after being inside for so long this winter. Um, I'm gonna use this color somewhere else and I'm looking for a bigger spot. Here, how about this guy? Right here. Now, if you're noticing that your lines just take you into big, big areas, like I can see this one, it just keeps going. That's okay, you, you can either, you can divide it if you want, or you can just fill it with a color. Now this almost reminds me of a little strawberry, and here I'm doing this color around it. I probably should have done um, the red in the middle. That's okay. Okay. I don't use tempera very often, and I really enjoy it, so I'm having fun with this. And just kind of use these as guidelines, but remember to make it interesting. You know, don't, you could use just three colors if you wanted. You certainly don't have to stick with one. I think I'm going to take, oh, you can always do this with colored pencils and Sharpies, but I just feel like the paint just flows so beautifully within these spaces. And, um, of course, if you if you decide to use something that's not quite as messy as paint, you could be outside doing it much easier. Um, just take your Sharpies outside. and um, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do, hmm, I think I, what I'm gonna do is break up some of these spaces. I don't want them all the same size, or all big. I wanna have a lot of variety. I think this one kinda of went somewhere. That looks like a little, to me, it looks like a purse. It's upside down for you. But, um, and then I have all this space over here that I'm going to just leave white. So that will be nice. All right, let's get some other colors in here. This is, I'm just gonna paint a few to get you started. And then you're on your own to create beautiful art inspired by nature. So here comes a yellow. And you know what might be really fun is there's a yellow over here, there's a red there, and what do yellow and red make? We'll just put that next to it. I kind of got some red in my brush there so you can already see where we're going with this. And red when you're mixing is such a strong color in any paints. So um, if you want to make an orange, be lighter on the red and stronger on the yellow to make it work. Otherwise you end up with a tomato and and then you can almost not tell the difference. So, oops, I went kind of over my line there. Okay, this is starting to get more interesting. You should uh, be inspired now on what this project is all about. And um, I think that's good for now. So go outside, enjoy yourself, do a little art, and I'll see you next time. Bye.